On to the SANFL and the Port Adelaide Club says it will not fold and will instead raise its own survival finance. The proclamation comes after the SANFL Commission and its Finance Committee turned down a request from the Magpies for a short-term loan. The club's three-year business plan was also rejected and it says it will now go it alone. A disappointed Magpies president, John Firth, says the loan was needed to cover a short-term cash gap. The SANFL Commission says assumptions in the Magpies business plan didn't support the club's assurances that it could support itself. The Magpies say their business plan is a good one and will pay dividends. We put a lot of time and effort into it. We think our projections for the next three years are, if anything, conservative. They're certainly realistic and achievable. The Magpies say their debt has dropped from $1 million to $300,000 in the last year and they'll be able to raise $230,000 by the end of October. Pay that back out of membership income which will start coming in in October and uh, distributions from the league start up again in December so it's only a short term loan, uh, we'll raise it ourselves without any trouble. He says the club is now out of danger. We don't want all the supporters reaching in their pockets but just keep supporting the hotel, coming to the games and we'll be around for a long time. In the AFL, Essendon coach Matthew Knights says he'd like Mark Williams at the Bombers next year as an assistant, but isn't sure what the former power coach wants to do. Knights invited Williams to Windy Hill yesterday for a meeting with operations manager Paul Hamilton. Two Essendon assistants are leaving. Knights doesn't know whether Williams will continue in football, but says he's highly credentialed. You know, you could see that passion come through in the brief 20 minutes we had with him, but... You know, where that fits with our club at the moment, uh, we're not quite sure. And former North Melbourne coach Dean Laidley will leave his assistant's job at Port Power and return to Melbourne at the end of the season for family reasons. The Power's looking at whether Laidley could still work for it despite living interstate. Graham Badger, ABC News, Adelaide.